twice a year, Canadian scientists measure physical, chemical and biological conditions on the East Coast. This is the spring survey underway last month on the Scotian Shelf. For the last decade, ocean temperatures in the Atlantic have gone in one direction, up. The latest survey, though, shows the ocean cooling. We did see a continuation of the trend that we observed in 2023, which was the temperatures are actually returning to normal or even below normal conditions in some areas. It's getting cooler. It's getting cooler. The reversal has scientists wondering if this is the beginning of a return to norms or a blip. I guess what remains unknown is whether this is a longer term trend um, or just short term variability that we're experiencing in the region. The warming period after 2012 saw near bottom temperatures on the Scotian shelf average two degrees above normal. The change was large and abrupt enough to be considered a regime shift in the ecosystem. The recent cooling is about half a degree below norms over the past 30 years. One explanation, cooler, oxygen-rich water is making its way south again. Oh, in the past, it was that less Labrador current water was coming around the tail of the Grand Banks and, and the Gulf Stream water was moving onshore and producing warmer water. So it appeared last year that maybe it looked like the Labrador current was returning to normal. So we're hoping that it's not being cut off at the tail of the Grand Banks like it has been in the past and that... I mean, hopefully we'll get back to cooler temperatures, fresher water uh, at depths. The findings confirm what lobster fishermen in southwest Nova Scotia noticed this season. They saw landings drop as cooler temperatures at bottom, particularly farther from shore, immobilized lobster, making them harder to catch. Scientists say it will take several years before it's clear if the cooling water is part of a long-term trend. Paul Withers, CBC News, Halifax.